What's up, what's up, Game Wars? Chief Rocky here with another video of Stellaris Galaxy Command. Uh, and today, I'm going to be discussing trade, okay? And the various ways of doing trades, uh, the taxes, the caravan loss, and auto trading, auto trading. Okay, but before I get into it, make sure you hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell for more excellent content just like this. Okay, so let's get right into it. Okay, so it it's best if I go from the long distance into the short distance when explaining this. Okay, so I've covered this in a previous video. Sectors, right? So you have sectors like right here, the sector I'm in. The capital is where all the trade happens, okay? So it's this one right here, bar to gain. Okay, so that's where all the trade happens. Okay, so that leads me to the first way to do trade, which, and let me let me let me preference this with saying the the there's like four different ways to access this trade screen. They kind of all show you numbers reconfigurated in a different method okay so if you go to the capital and you click on the capitals well you just click on the capital <laughs> sorry i'm having some word diarrhea right now okay click on the sector capital and you could click trading post now the benefit of this screen right here is it tells you exactly the goods at the trading post and the average price so you can make a decision based off of that okay and the other the other obviously the other good thing is you click on here and you click view it's going to tell you the popular resources that are traded here so if you're looking for a certain resource at a certain price this first method of going to the capital sector is probably your best choice okay so you come in here and say you need living metal you click on that and boom right so here's two right here that you could get from these two guys okay done okay let's go over method number two all right method number two is coming here to your trade screen okay so you can see right now I'm selling a whole bunch of extra electricity I don't I don't like to go over so I, I just sell it it's all queued up okay but you could create an order all right now it shows you the same screen, but it lists all the trading posts and you could do either do it by distance, right? So you could change this up, it's, oh, there we go. So the, the closest or the farthest ones out and the closest ones, okay? You could do it by trade tax, right? So the ones with no trade tax, the one with the most trade tax, okay? Um, and then you could either buy or sell whatever and then it will take you no, if I want to buy, now it takes me to that capitals trade post, okay? So that's more of like an overview. Okay, so let's go to method number three. Come here. Now, let me let me slow down a little bit. I'm going too fast. Okay, so you're going to go to your functions, go to trade, and this screen's a little different. <laughs> it's got the order. My, my recent one, okay? And, and then the other orders I have queued up, okay? Uh, it's gonna offer you the trade, the auto trader right here, and you get view trading posts, same screen. It's, it's all about how you wanna access this screen, many different ways to do it, okay? You could filter by resource too if you want. So let's say I'm looking for Eldar Crystals. But here you go. It takes me to an L, like basically the Eldar crystals, and I could go by distance, I could go by quantity, I could go by unit price. Okay. And the fourth way. This is my favorite way of doing it because I right now I'm only at uh, I'm almost level thirteen, so I'm not that high up. 
And I'm, I'm taking my time with this game because I, I, I don't pay. <laughs> I don't pay. I, I pay. I play on my leisure. And I'm making these videos to help all the other ones that are playing at their leisure as well. This is my favorite way. Okay, so I could go here and I could see where I'm running short um, and where I'm over. So in any time I'm... Oh man, come on, Mimu. Okay, so anytime I'm, I'm I'm about to go over on a certain supply, I start to sell it off. Okay, so right here, I'm probably gonna start selling some supplies um, on the marketplace because I'm I'm coming over. Before I was I was approaching my overage on electricity, and I'm, I'm not just gonna sit there and, and fill up the warehouse. That's not what, that's not my thing. Okay, now here you could go buy utilities or metals, gas, and uniques. Okay, I like to see all because I want to I want to I want an overview of everything I have in my warehouse Okay, so I've already put some stuff up. But let's, let's say uh, okay. I want to sell supplies And it's gonna bring up the trading posts, okay Now me personally, I'm gonna look to see who's going to war and I'm gonna sell supplies to them Because <laughs> they're gonna be using supplies on their ships so, and, and then I, I kind of do a little bit of uh, reconnaissance on there and, and, and obviously go to the uh, to the little war notifications to see who's going to war. And I sell supply and play that little arms trader thing, you know. <laughs> anyway, um, this is my favorite way of doing it is method number four, okay? But if you're starting out, okay, and you're looking for a certain resource, Probably the best me best method is to come to this trade button, right? View all trading posts and get this huge overview. Okay. Get this huge overview and you could go by distance tax or you could just filter by resource. This is probably going to be your best friend. Okay. Is this one right here. If you're looking for a certain resource, me personally, I'm only going off of my deficiencies and my overages. That's that's all. Overages. Wow, chief. Wow. My overages and my deficiencies. Okay, so if I'm deficient in gas, okay, yes, I'm going to put an order in for some gas. And I'm going to take into account distance and tariffs or taxes. Okay, so let's talk about distances and tariffs. Let's go back to that trade screen right here my best friend right so trade tax trade tax is obviously this alliance is opposing this much tax on their trades that's it <laughs> you can adjust that let me see if I could if I could see that here now I'm not the alliance leader so I don't get to do that Here we go. Sales tax, uh, trade tax is 10% of the purchase and then tariffs 60%. Okay. The Alliance can only set basic tariffs. Actual tariff rate is calculated from the basic tariff rate and the level of the trading post. There you go. So that's where that tariff and or trade tax comes from. Okay. Now distance, distance takes into account as well, because you do have loss with the amount of distance, okay? So loss is related to the distance traveled by the caravan. All right, so let's go here, right here, there you go. So this one is 228 light years away, okay? So obviously I'm gonna occur some loss, okay? Uh, the longer the distance, the greater the loss. However, okay, however, passing a trade post should reset the loss, but whatever loss that you had to that trade post is going to hit. So obviously, the longer the duration, you're going to have some loss, okay? Now, some cargo does not experience loss, the loss others do, and they also have different rates of loss. Okay. So take that into consideration when you're making that trade, do your research on that and make sure that you know which ones have 
a greater loss and which ones don't. So you might want to not trade at such a distance on those items as you would with ones that don't have such a great loss. Do you understand what I mean? Perishables, basically. All right, so let's do auto trading. All right, this is your friendly little bot right here, right? The auto trader. Okay, so he sets sale or buy orders. Okay, so you'll set it and he just does it automatically, okay? And this is set off of a percentage. So here, I, I've already done a couple in the past um, where I, I set 20% of my minerals. There we go, minerals. So, so this will sell 10% of the warehouse uh, ex except cost. So auto sell amount will be calculated based on the station's maximum possible resource consumption. Okay. So when it gets over 10% or almost 10% fill, it's going to start selling it off. All right. So we could go to 20%. Okay. So it will retain this much, right? If I sell a hundred percent, it's going to sell the entire thing. Okay. If I sell 90%, it's only going to maintain 20.4K, uh, 20 all right? So if I just do 10%, it's gonna remain, it's gonna leave 70.9%, uh, or it's gonna re basically retain 90%. So we'll set 20%, confirm, and boom, it's done, okay? Also, it only trades within the nearest MPC, okay? So you don't get to pick who it trades to. It's going to be the nearest NPC. So for me, it's going to be the Commonwealth. This is the way it's going to be. Uh, do I want to abandon? No, let's, let's go save and confirm. That's set. So here's your timer right here. Okay. So it's going to take that long for it to start selling off 10%. Okay. Once it reaches that limit, right? And it, it's only good for 24 hour time period. Okay, so they're only good for 24 hours. You could make it to where it's done every day. Okay. Um, and you could edit your plan and your plan. So you get so many slots for this. Okay, so right now I think I only have, so since I already made one, I, I can't readjust it. Once you adjust it, that's it for 24 hours. Um, but I think I only have three slots. And once I get to uh, Nexus 16, I'll get that fourth slot. So, and then the last thing is you could always check right here on your trade tab where everything's at. So obviously this one's in transit, this one's in transit, these ones are queued up for, uh, for sale, okay? And then right here is my auto trade. So you could always hit this tab right here and it will tell you where everything's at. Furthermore, auto trade, it's going to show up here on your resources area. And it's going to tell you, boom, that's what it's going to keep. <laughs> okay. So once it gets over that limit that we set, it's going to start selling it off. All right. As always, I cannot know everything about this game. I've done a lot of research for the last week. I've, I've made sure that I went through everything I could find and put it in this comprehensive video to shove out to the public so you guys can consume it with my excellent voice and the good visuals. <laughs> However, if you guys know something I did not cover, please leave it in the comments below to help the gaming community out, especially with Stellaris Galaxy Command. The more we share, the more the game will grow. And that's all I got. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Chief Rocky out.